Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. I, I know I said no new videos until January, but like, I'm really hyped about what I'm doing right now and about this computer. Uh, I got my backup computer running and discovered a lot of spare parts that I forgot I had. Uh, whether it was from friends that have given them to me over the years, garbage picking, recycling computers for people, etc., etc. I discovered a lot of spare parts and I built myself what I think is going to be my new um, slim down rig. Now, my main desktop is out of order. The M.2 slot is broken and all my data is on my M.2 Samsung SSD. Uh, well, a lot of data that I need. Let's put it that way. So I got to wait until I can afford a new motherboard or I guess just drill it out. But I don't know anybody with a small enough drill, so I can't do that. But let's go over what I got here because this will be kind of like a reintroduction to a series that was Thrift Shop Finds with TechX. The very first video I ever did on this subject was on my Commodore 64 that I paid like 30 bucks for. If there's little pauses in between here, it's because I gotta take a drink or I'm gonna have a coughing fit because I'm still, I'm over COVID, but like, I'm not. We'll make a video on that later. Anyway, oh, I decided to try Jim Beam's whiskey and cola. It's so good. Anyway, YouTube doesn't like alcohol. Um, don't drink, kids. Anyway, I wanted to go over the specs of the computer, how I bought it, and how it is now. So initially when I got this computer, it had the Intel Pentium dual core in it. It had four gigabytes of RAM with two gigabyte sticks. Uh, and it was 1600 mAh. So right now, uh, 720p camera, you know, all that stuff is still the original. All this is still original. <clears throat> I want to tell you what I did with it. Sorry, I had to cough. So, as you can see here, it'll support up to the i5, which, if you look, I have the i5-3450 in here now. Um, I have eight gigabytes of RAM uh, and a one terabyte SSD, a uh, SATA-based SSD. So it's only like eight gigabytes per second. It's not like M.2. There is an M.2 open on this board. I do plan on filling it to max this thing out. It's also a 20 inch touchscreen monitor built in. I never thought I'd see the day that I actually enjoy an all in one touchscreen. It feels weird not to have multiple monitors. It feels weird not to have a setup like that at all. But realistically, if I'm gonna just stream basic things, I don't need a big thousand dollar computer anymore. I just don't do anything that requires that thousand dollar computer that's just a nightmare to keep up with i think this is what i'm going to stay with this thing is plenty quick for me um i'm sure it'll hit some slowdowns and hiccups once i start really throwing like visual studio at it or adobe flash um for the nitto stuff but as it sits right now this is all i need because all i have to do is find a job all i need to do is uh you know just do some work on the side. I could do some web design for people and go from there. And it's a fantastic build. Let's get down to what I paid for this thing. So as the Intel Pentium with four gigs of RAM and the touchscreen and everything, you're not even going to believe it. I paid $4.99 before tax for this computer. You want to know the better part is I have two of these. I could upgrade a whole nother one and flip it. I could also flip this one once I get a new setup or a better setup, which I do plan on doing with some new and used parts and bringing you guys along with me. This thing also has a webcam built in. I don't have it enabled because I'm ugly. Uh, but looking on eBay, in the Pentium dual core configuration with the four gigs of RAM, these all Dell all-in-ones sell for about a hundred bucks. I could not find a single one with a Core i5 in it to see what it sold for, but with the Core i3 and 4 gigs of RAM, they're selling for 200 So I bet you if I tried to sell this thing with the i5 in it and the 8 gigs of RAM, I could easily sell it for 275 or 300 Any of you nerdy people out there, let me know what you think, because there might be a chance in the future that I sell this thing if I do get a better rig or money towards a better rig. Um, 
and I do have plenty of computers laying around here that I can mix and match parts from and either sell rigs or gift rigs to friends, which I might do. So also, if you hear that weird sound behind me that's like biting on metal or moving a cage, it's a bunny that I didn't want. Any of you guys want a bunny or should we make some stew? I'll leave it up to you. Anyway, I just wanted to touch base because it has been a while since I've made a video. Um, I don't plan on doing <coughs> excuse me, regular uploads until January, probably third or fourth week of January, maybe not even February because my second child is due the second week of January, so that'll get in the way of doing recordings um, unless my girlfriend's not here. So we'll figure it out, but I think the first real series that I'm going to do when I come back and start doing regular uploads is going to be based around creating websites because I've realized I have a lot of skill in that area that I didn't actually know that I had. So I want to teach you guys from the ground up, you know, what do I start with? Do I just go with Squarespace and use one of their things? Do I do a single page? How do I get my domain? How do I get hosting? Where do I go for all this stuff? How do I get started making a website from the basics to a full-fledged WordPress website or a forum. Let me know if you think that's a good idea for a series, and you know we'll do it up because I think it is a good idea. I'm getting away from the game modding. Obviously, switching to this computer, I'm probably getting away from gaming almost entirely. Uh, I might try Minecraft on this thing just to see what happens. Maybe we'll do it as a stream. I don't know. And I might get into some Pokemon trading card game stuff pokemon trading card game online and use all my white codes and green codes to get all the cards in the game but well all the cards that i have in real life in the game and go from there but i just wanted to touch base i'll make another video and have it upload in like a week or two about my battle with covid um while i never tested positive because i never went to get tested i had it there's, you know, I was sick for three and a half weeks. I had it. And I still have the lingering effects, but I'm better now. So you might get some random uploads just like this one, but uh, of me just talking because, you know, sometimes I got to get my thoughts out. That's a normal thing for people. And boy, do I have a lot of random thoughts sometimes. Maybe I'll do a series called Random Thoughts with Tech X uh, and not not the girly kind. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys at least enjoyed the video of whatever this is, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.